Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been ages, but I finally decided to sit myself down and do another makeup look. Um, don't have any real excuse, I'm just... Yeah, doesn't matter, we're here now. Okay, so um, I'm going to be showing how I do this makeup look. This is what I've been kind of doing lately. I've been watching lots of tutorials and been having fun with it on my own. So this is my... Um, I don't know. This is kind of what I've been doing a little bit lately. Uh, playing a bit more with eyeshadows and then also trying a liquid foundation, which is really cool. And um, yeah, this is finally another video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to be using the Farasali Unicorn Essence. So pretty. So I just use this as like a base layer, I guess, under my makeup. Cool. <laughs> so I just put that all over my face. So the foundation that I'm using is a NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Dover. This here. Um, I don't know how well this actually matches my skin, but we gonna find out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seems all good. Um, I'm now using obviously a damp beauty blender, which I tried to clean as best I could, but doesn't look super fresh. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna put this everywhere. I might just clip back my here actually. Oh! Oh dear. If anyone has seen my um, only other makeup video, I said how I don't wear like liquid foundation. But I actually ended up buying heaps of random makeup that I haven't used or things like that. Um, oh, it's ages ago now, like at the beginning of the year. So now I'm. Um, trying all these things, like I've become a fan of this particular foundation um, and so it's kind of my go-to, I don't like applying too much, just like a real thin layer and it helps all my powder, all my powder, stick to it, so that's me, cool, so that's kind of done, yeah, nice. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is I'm doing like a full glam today, in case I haven't announced that already, is the KKW contour stick. So this is like for full on glam, but we're just gonna dive in and do it. Um. <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm doing this all legit. Nice, that looks ready to go. <laughs> um, so I bought all these beautiful new brushes cause I'm a sucker for anything that's gold. Um, these are, it's like the gold Morphe set. This is a Y6 brush. This is just what I'm using to blend this out. I try to put it in the areas that I would like naturally be darker in. Like if I'm in the sun um, or been on a tropical holiday, then these are the darkest parts of my face, uh, my forehead and Oh, that's a yarn, isn't it? Because I don't really get tanned in there. <laughs> but mm, this is what I started to do if I feel like I'm going to do like real hard out makeup. Oh wow, that's looking kind of orange. Oh my god, I can smell really nice food. I'm alone at home, so I don't know where that's coming from. Someone in my building is having a really nice late lunch. Normal time, I guess. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> so that looks all good. I've seen that obviously lots of people are into contouring their nose. The most I'm going to do is just like drag that, I guess, down parts of my nose. Just what's left on the brush. I'm really sorry if this is frowned upon, I'm just going to do it anyway. Cool. Okay, so I also bought online a while ago the famous Tarte Shape Tape. Um, only problem is, is that I obviously just winged it, 
didn't even know what to come close to in terms of picking a shade so this is light neutral and as I have discovered it's pretty much the same color as the foundation that I've got so it's um yeah not light enough I think for what you're supposed to have for concealer oh maybe it is either way this is what I'm using at the moment and I love it just put it on under my eyes because I always have really dark circles on my eyes very annoying but that's okay because I'm going to try my best to get rid of them with this Mm. I'll be putting powder on top so hopefully that helps disguise this a bit more. So when you go to this fluffy, I said this last time, it's, it's already all the brushes are fluffy Maddie. <laughs> this thicker brush this is Y7. So now I'm putting on my MAC Studio Fix. I've actually got two colours that I alternate between now. This is NC30. This is because I'm generally quite pale all year round and this is what I put in the sort of centre areas of my face so I just kind of press it into my skin cut all the middle area I also have the MAC Studio Fix powder in C40 this is way tanner than what I'll just show you mm. Or maybe it's, it doesn't look too different but you can see that it's got like a much cooler tone and that's paler and warmer and obviously what I use more of um but I will sometimes just put this around the edges if you know it's dark in those areas it kind of creates a really light natural sort of contour I would say nice and then um what do I do I've got bronzer so this is my MAC Biana bronzer and then I just using another Morphe brush I just go over the areas that I contoured before and more apparently um, so it's just nice to warm up my face slightly and next what do we have highlighter so um Treated myself to the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife because why would you go with anything else? Um, that's that beautiful gold. Oh, I've totally destroyed it. Um, gold color highlighter. Um, so using a fan brush. Oh my god, drag it over. <clears throat> um, lightly patting this onto the brush. And then I just put it up here. Oh, I don't like looking too shiny. But this is really pretty, especially when I've seen it on my friends. I feel very envious of it, and I wanted it for myself. Okay, so I do that before I do my eyebrows because otherwise I'm worried that there's um the product will stick to my eyebrows, and then if I put this over it, well, that's this is just what I end up doing. Okay, so what I use on my eyebrows is. Um, the Hourglass Arc Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Um, this is in the color Dark Brunette. That's me. Um, so it's a little, it's kind of like an eyebrow, well it's an eyebrow gel obviously. This is a colored one so it's just got, actually I'll see if I can put a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh my god it's running out. Okay so this, that's it there. See so my eyebrows are really quite dark so I just run this across the top of them so as to get rid of that kind of powder look that they've got going on right now <sighs> Done. okay so now I'm going to start on my eyes um okay so I'm still using this MAC powder which looks ooh, um, I am. Um, oh my god! <laughs> this just fell out just now. It has never happened before. 
Oh, someone obviously thought I need to spice my video up and do that to myself. Okay. Ugh. That is going everywhere. But we'll keep on going. Um, so I use the pale shade up in the corner and this palette is called Red Hot Times 9. Um, it's got nine eyeshadows and I am currently using the vanilla shade. Um, and what I've been doing lately is um, putting it in the top corner, top inner corner of my eye and dragging it out. Whoops, I have put way too much. Ooh. See, so that just looks quite pale, but the reason I do that is because then lately I've just been putting on a mix between just using my bronzer again um, on a similar brush. These are all the sort of smaller size eyeshadow brushes in that Morphe set. So just using my bronzer, putting a bit on my brush. Um, I just feel like this gives a sort of kind of natural look. I really like brown, kind of smoky eye makeup. So this is what I've been doing lately. Just putting it sort of from the halfway point and then fanning it out and upwards. If I'm worried about fallout, sort of creating like darkness again under my eyes, I'll put a tissue up under my eye while I do this, but now I'm not too worried. Oh, this looks like I had like an orange powder on this before and I think that's why this looks so orange, but I'm not mad at it. Can go with it. Cool. So hopefully that's all blended out. Um it's really hard to tell. <laughs> so after I've done that, I have now recently started using something slightly um, more subtle than the black liquid eyeliner that I've used previously. I have bought the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and this is in the shade Dark Brown. Upside down. <laughs> um, that's it there. And then, basically, I will just do the usual of dragging that across top of my eye. Oh, crap. <laughs> mm, a little bit too dramatic, but that's okay. That came up in the focus. Oh, that's not too bad. Kind of. Mm. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is try to do the inside of my eye. Just lightly. And just for fun, I'm gonna use my little angled brush. This one. <laughs> to warm up under my eyes. I would never normally do this, but I have been watching a lot of tutorials lately and I'm all for it. It looks so nice when other people do it, so I'm gonna try to. Um, I'm just using, whoops, I forgot to say. I'm using that same MAC palette and I just used the colors. Oh, that looks dirty. Um, Carnal Charm, just a little bit of that and then sort of wiping it off partly and then using my bronzer again so that it's sort of got that same kind of brown oh. it's kind of about right eh? mm. mm -hmm. and then using my white MAC eyeliner this is in the color fascinating I am just going to wipe it clean as well as putting it in the sort of inner corners of my eyes Using the small Morphe Y22 brush, I will spray some MAC Fix Spray onto it. Oh my god, I want onto my camera. And going back to Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife highlighter, putting a little bit on the brush. Mm. And in the inner corner of my eyes, 
just gonna highlight that point just a bit wet and not to get too carried away really. Cool. The next thing I'm gonna do is I my one of my serious go-tos is makeup removal wipes. In particular, lately, oh for like a year and a bit now actually, I suppose. Lately. <laughs> um I've been using the Daily Essentials 3-in-1 Anti-Blemish Exfoliating Whites by Nivea. Um, so I will use these to take my makeup off in the evenings. I will always get one and keep it on me when I am, um, or close by me, keep it on me. Keep it close by me when I'm doing my makeup in the mornings because I use it to one, take the makeup off the back of my hand and two, take the makeup off my lips after doing my face. Mm -mm -mm. And then if I do a mistake or something, I can kind of try to touch it up or whatever is needed. But I will tuck that back in the pocket for later. Now I'm going to go in with a really intense blush that I bought. The reason I leave like my eyes and my mascara to last is because I tend to lean on my face a lot unintentionally or deliberately for sort of balance because I can get really shaky hands. So I am now doing my blush before I do my mascara and this is a MAC Frankly, Scarlet Powder Blush. As you can see, it's really intense. It's really pigmented. And that's the brush already. But I just put a little bit on there and then maybe tap off the excess or wipe a little bit on my destroyed face cloth. And I um, just put a little bit on my cheeks. Some people don't like blush, but I don't know why. I really like it. I think it just adds more obviously colour to my face but also um, I don't know. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. This is my favourite mascara, um, although I haven't actually used too many types I guess but my go-to out of the ones that I've got, this is the MAC False Lashes Extreme in Black. Um, I just feel like so many mascaras that I've tried using um, will make my eyelashes clump or um, I don't know it doesn't separate them nicely and I don't know. this is my go-to. Okay and the last step is my favorite Blistex lip conditioning balm. I put this on under my um, liquid lipsticks I don't know, I just feel like, um, luckily it doesn't have a chemical reaction and kind of screw up how the lipstick looks or anything and then I just always get really dry lips whenever the season changes or all year round pretty much, so I'm all about my lip balm. And today I'm going to wear the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in Commando. So it's really nice, it's like a nude kind of shade but I'm really into the same kind of Oh, they were just at the moment. It's it's going better. I've got about ten shades that I alternate between, and they're all pretty similar, unless I'm doing like a bold red lip or something. So, just got some fluff on my tongue. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on. Okay, bad job. Must be because I'm in front of the camera. Huh, where do you even come from? Okay, done. So this is the makeup look. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up um, and feel free to leave me a comment or if you've got any questions and things like that, just let me know. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>